Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Lico 204, count primes. So count the number of primes number um, less than a non-negative numbers, n. So the example is input n equal to 10, then output four is how many prime number from two up to 10. So from two to 10, excluding zero and one, and we have two, three, five, and seven. Those are the prime number uh, during that range. If the input is zero or one, because zero and one is excluded as a prime number, then those number are none. So it's, it's zero in here. So I make this array right here uh, as a example for an example one. You can imagine this is all true. We create a uh, array of Boolean. So this is all Boolean, but this is just an index. They all started with true. Then what we need to count is starting from this two to 10, how many prime number here? So we know two, we look through from two to 10 first. And we know two uh, is true right now. And it's also a prime number. Then in that case, we will, uh, let me draw this one. So now it's true right here. And we'll go through next one, which is two times two, four. So everything that can be multiplied uh, by two, then we, we capture them from two, four, three, eight, and 10. So we make another for loop using two to capture those uh, multiplication from bottom to up. So originally four is true because we found this is, can be multiplied by two, then become four. We turn this become force. And after two is done, because um, it's reached to the end of the array. And then we go to three right here. Because three is true, is prime number. So since prime number is here, we will reach to three times three, which is nine. The multiplication is always start with itself, three times three, because there's no need to time use three times two because two is already uh, processed in the bit before. Anything less than three have been processed. So three times three is nine. So turn this become false and done. And that's for three. And now we come to four. Four is not a prime number, so skip. So now it's five is prime number. Prime, uh, so five times five. So it's already over n, which is 10. So skip. And we see six is false. Okay, we skip. Seven is true. Then seven times seven is over that n. So now we look through the whole entire uh, array. So we see one, two, three, four. And then we'll accumulate that. Uh, true value starting from two to n. And that's the result. And this is the solution. Thank you. Uh, we'll take a look at the code now. So the code will start with having Boolean. Uh, we call it a table. We go to new Boolean. So now we will increase by one. So we just created this um, Boolean array. And we, the array start with false as a default value. We need to fill that table to A, B, O, E with true. So that's done. Next thing, we need to, uh, starting from two in this array, we're gonna 
processed the prime number. So here's the trick. Um, the end of the array will be n time n plus one. So we want to process n i plus i less than this. Because if it's uh, more than half, there's no way you can pair of another multiplication uh, when i is i time i is bigger than uh, n plus one. Okay, for example, in here, you can time two, which is the lowest number you can time. Uh, there's no way you can make the number in here less than n. So that's why I will be the last, I, I will be the last number when this pro, uh, condition met. So next thing we have J equal to I and J is time I also less than I plus one. Like what we said in here, we have all the twos multiplication and now we reach three, we don't time three starting from two, we time three starting from itself because anything number before three is already processed. So J will start from I and increment by one every time. So which, so three times three and then three times four later and five until they over N. So I times J is over N plus one. So also, because we found, we only process the table when table i is true. Otherwise, it's false. That means it's not a prime number already. So at that case, if table i is true, then table i time j is false. And that's it for this two for loop. So we will we create this two and four, two and four for all the uh, prime value already. So we have a count number starting from zero. And we loop through the whole entire table starting from two, right, less than table dot length. I plus plus. So starting from two, if table I is true, and then we accumulate count. At the end, we return count as a result. Table I time J. It should be all equal here. Okay. So if it's two, then uh, let me see. Give me a second. Uh, I think I just read the problem a little bit wrong. Sorry about that. Is is less than an n the input number. So it doesn't include uh, n is equal to 10. So in this case, I change n plus one become n. Then this case n should pass. Uh, so I just change n plus one to n, n plus one to n, n plus one to n right here. And then it should pass the case. So that's it for this question. If you have any uh, question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.